What's up everybody? I'm Sydney Goodman and in today's Daily Fix, Borderlands, Borderlands, Borderlands! A creepy new Joker trailer and potential new game leaks from Best Buy. Roll the thing! Borderlands 3 has a confirmed release date, a new gameplay trailer, and a ton of other news to cover. They weren't lying when they said Mayhem was coming. The recruitment style gameplay trailer shows off a wide range of environments, four new vault hunters, a sick saxophone solo, and of course, the promise of over one billion guns. I don't know why I said that like that. Anyways, there are four editions of the game available for pre-order now, including the $250 Diamond Loot Collector's Edition. And while this hasn't been confirmed by Gearbox, Microsoft claims the game will support cross-platform co-op. Most likely, this will only apply to PC and Xbox One. For PC gamers, Borderlands 3 will be an Epic Store exclusive until April 2020. Borderlands 3 comes out September 13th for PS4, Xbox One, and PC, but Gearbox and 2K are hosting a live gameplay stream on May 1st. I'll be watching closely for that gun that can grow legs and yell insults at enemies. Persona 5 might be coming to Nintendo Switch, but don't quote me on that. Screenshots of an internal Best Buy database appear to show Persona 5, a Metroid Prime trilogy, and The Legend of Zelda, a link to the past. All for Switch. Rumors of a Persona 5 port are nothing new, and there's a Persona teaser website that promises updates on April 25th. But this is the first we're hearing of a link to the past. And I assume people calling themselves the Geek Squad know the difference between that game and Link's Awakening, which is being remade for Switch this year. The Metroid Prime Trilogy also has not been announced, but it would be an extremely welcome update after Metroid Prime 4 was delayed and restarted. Retailers obviously aren't the best source for video game news, but the same thing happened last year when Walmart listed Rage 2, Gears of War 5, and Just Cause 4. Oh yeah, they also listed a game you might have heard about called Borderlands 3. Warner Brothers released a deeply unsettling teaser trailer for the standalone Joker film. It's the first in a series of planned DC films that's separate from the DC Extended Universe, so don't hold your breath for any Shazam cameos. There's definitely shades of Heath Ledger's Joker here, but how could there not be? Joaquin Phoenix's Joker feels very different from the Killing Joke origin story we've seen over and over. There's a shot of a young kid that's probably Bruce Wayne, and I can't help but wonder how threatening this Joker could possibly be to full-grown Batman. He's always been older than Wayne, but this Joker would be geriatric by the time the caped crusader starts prowling Gotham. But this film isn't really about that. It's a new take on one of the most iconic villains in comic books, and it could be a nice change of pace from the superhero films we're used to. Joker hits theaters this October 4th. And that's your daily fix for April 3rd. I'm Sydney Goodman, and I hope your day is as awesome as you are. Now that you're all caught up, check out our trailer breakdown for Joker. Download the IGN app on all your mobular devices. Subscribe to the Daily Fix on Snapchat. And for all things everything else, IGN.com.